Welcome back, everyone, to another segment of the MCR. Mac and me. My name's TJ. I'm bypassing a flannel shirt, wearing uh, a shirt that I got in Bedford, Pennsylvania. Okay, uh, the place of the whiskey rebellion for those uh, who are into history. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks everyone to you for your support. Uh, shameless plug for Rumble. You can find us on Rumble at MI Conservative Roundtable. All one word, MI Conservative Roundtable. And on to the topic. Last week, some pretty, I'm going to call, I'm going to define it as ludicrous. Some rather ludicrous or shameful activity occurred uh, from the Democrats involving Israel. And uh, those who've been faithful followers of us are already very aware, very familiar with the fact that this channel, I myself, we're very pro-Israel. Anyone who professes any kind of Christian theological belief has got to be aware of God's covenant with Abraham, where he says, I will bless them that bless thee and curse them that curseth thee. I believe it. I believe Mac believes it also. I do. And uh, and and I just believe that that uh, those who are uh, uh, kind and loyal to Israel uh, are uh, though they're, they're they'll be blessed by the Lord. All right. And uh, we'll, we'll we'll leave it at that. <clears throat> that that isn't to say. So we're clear. That we think everything, every every little thing Israel does does is perfect and fine. We, we don't believe that. All right. Yes, I, I concur with that. I just, uh, you know, f f like like the way Germany during World War II, you know, that just, uh, you know, as the saying goes, beyond the pale, you know. Right. Uh, and, and, you know, I, I mentioned that. And what happened to Israel last year on October the 7th? That was beyond the pale. Uh, and Israel put together like a 45-minute uh, video, unedited, of some of the atrocities committed by Hamas. Okay? And... and a terrorist organization, I might add. Yes. And an organization that received a 70% support from the Palestine uh, population there in the Gaza Strip, okay? So, you know, and, there, and there's a very specific reason why I'm inclined to mention that, okay? Well, it goes to, oh, they're all just so innocent. Exactly, and, and some of the heat that Israel's been taken for supposed uh, civilian deaths, you know, there in, there in uh, Gaza. All right. Senator Schumer, a Democrat who we are no fan of, uh, got on the Senate floor in the Senate chamber and called on the Israeli people to oust Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, and, you know, I know I know this country has called upon other countries to do something about or try to do something about uh, dictators and whatnot. Oh, you mean like Justin Trudeau? Because we have said the people of Canada should overthrow their government and get rid of that Marxist clown. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. But, you know, I I'm inclined to bring out the fact that Israel is like the only democracy there in the Middle East, surrounded by Islamic uh, dictatorships of different different types theocracies uh, some of them some of them are theocracies some of them are uh some of them have kings you know sheiks uh however they want Ab about the only decent anti-democrat government you have there is jordan and you know that's you know, you're almost picking the way lesser of two evils in, well, in saying that it too is a monarchy and and being constitutionalist as we are we don't like monarchies exactly uh he just happens to like us like the u.s you know but uh anyways uh you know with, with schumer saying what he was saying uh 
and giving credit where credit's due, Mitch McConnell, I want to say like the next day, got up and and gave basically gave a rebuttal to the nonsense that Senator Schumer was uh, spewing uh, in uh, in Israel, removing uh, their Democrat democratically elected. Uh, uh, I don't know if he if you'd call him president or whatever. Uh, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu and and I'm I'm, I'm a personal fan of Benjamin Net, Netanyahu. I, I believe they they their office is prime minister, but I okay. Don't that, that. You know what? You're I think you're right. Uh, thoughts uh, so far, Matt, because I've been rambling here. Well, I, I wish Senator Schumer would be less concerned about what's happening in Israel and be more concerned about what's happening in Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, Florida, and places where we're being swamped by uh, illegal aliens. And if it hurt your feelings that I'm calling them illegal aliens, you know, go in your safe space and hug a teddy bear because I don't really give a damn. So he should be more worried about that. He should be worried about having the National Guard in the subway and still having shootings in New York, his home state, where people, many of them are about to turn red, especially black Americans, because they're sick of the illegal problem. Why doesn't Senator Schumer worry about those problems before he worries about poor little terrorist group Hamas who are getting exactly what they asked for. Uh, amen to that. Uh, you know, on, on the heels of Schumer's nonsense, and, and there's no surprise here, not, you got President Biden's doublespeak. I, I, guess, I guess, you know, he was being interviewed, and I can't remember who was interviewing him, asking him uh, if there was a red line with Israel. And at first, at first, President Biden, he goes, uh, no, there's no red line with Israel. He goes, well, uh, unless they start killing too many civilians, that that would be a red line then. And, and, and oh, yeah. I'm, is it going to be like the same red line Barack Obama put in the sand, which he then took with his hand and brushed away as if it weren't there once it was crossed? Well, when when I saw that video clip, I thought I thought, OK, this red line can be drawn and erased and repositioned and move, hither, you know, here and there, you know. I mean, well, they're they are the masters of moving the goalposts. Oh yeah, and and, and I'm thinking, you know, make make up your mind. It, it, is there a red line or not? And and if so, where so? You know, and uh, well, if any mind is being made up, you can be certain it isn't his. Uh, so, you know, I, I just I just kind of wanted to mention some of the nonsense. Uh, uh you know, also. I'm, I'm going to mention uh, a headline from the Washington Post. Israel faces crisis of its own making as chaos and danger engulf Gaza. Of their own making. You know, yeah. and going this, back this to October why, 7th. You this know? is precisely, and if you read Microsoft News, dictator Trump says this, delusional Trump says that. These people aren't journalists, they're propagandists, and this is another example of it. And, you know, go, going back to what happened to Israel October 7th, and for those unaware, or perhaps those who need to be reminded, they were putting babies in ovens that day, okay? Yeah. And uh, well, we all know baby, Democrats have no problems killing babies. Yeah. It's uh, what they do. Yeah, really, for sure, for sure on that. And, and, and that wasn't even, that's hard that's hardly scratching the surface on their atrocities uh uh but yes yeah, so, some of what they did to the women there if, if we if if we use the wrong uh, vocabulary we'd get a strike most likely okay so so that so that's 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 what Hamas is all about all right, all right. uh and uh, I, I guess that's it uh uh you know and this is all you know uh, I guess there's one remaining town. I think it's called Rafa, Rafa uh, that Israel's getting ready to move on, uh, and uh, and and that's where this is kind of uh, what it's kind of boiling down to is what there, Israel's very close to kind of putting this to kind of putting this to rest or bed or or eliminating the threat. You know. Oh, one more thing. One more thing I meant to mention earlier. Uh, in regards to the Palestine uh, people in general, 
aside from the fact that they supported Hamas by a 70 percent vote, uh, you know what? Egypt doesn't even want that uh, that ethnic group uh, within their borders because, uh, well, they're dysfunctional. What, what, what else can I say about that? You know, so that's it. I've said my piece and uh, and I just hope Israel finishes the job. You know what? The, the one of the few decent things Nikki Haley said, which, you know, as you know, we're no fan of. But one of the one of the, at least I can agree with her on this. Finish them. OK. And, uh, you know, give them credit where credit's due. Not that she deserves that much. But, yeah, I hope Israel finishes them. And and that's it. I've, I've said my piece. OK. All right. We're going to call this one a wrap. Uh, I will see you in the next segment. Uh, and just remember, uh, be safe, watch your six, and don't tread on me. <laughs>